All right, everybody, we just got done uh, putting our four inch concrete slab on the ground floor. We now need to add the floor for the floor assembly for the second floor. And it's also going to act as the ceiling for the ground floor. So I'm going to open the second floor plan, and click. <clears throat> and what's highlighted is actually the ground floor below. So I'm just going to click on nothing and it'll all go away and it's all happy. Now it's kind of hard to see right now. You really have to zoom in. You can just barely see it on the screen here. I see a gray stipple, which is actually everything on the level below. I don't want to see any of that. So over here, where it says underlay, you'll see range, base level, ground floor. This is telling me that my second floor plan is looking at everything that's on my ground floor plan to use as a reference so things can line up floor to floor. I'm not really worried about that right now. So I'm going to change my ground floor designation to none. And now, again, it's hard, probably hard for you to see on my screen, but the uh, stippling for the concrete goes away, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. <clears throat> Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Get back so I can see the whole thing. I'm going to, on the architecture tab, I click on floor, and I need, I need to modify an existing uh, floor structure or a floor type. So I'll expand my list of available uh, available floor types down here and I'll look at wood truss joist 12 inch carpet finish. Yeah, I know it's carpet. It's built in here. This is a classroom assignment. You guys can fix it on other assignments that you have in other classes later. I need to make modifications to this though. So I'm going to click edit type. Now because I want to modify this family, I'm not going to duplicate. I'm actually going to modify what's right here. So I'm going to click edit structure. And the first thing I change is right here in the thickness of the structural wood joist rafter layer. This is not supposed to be 11 and 7 eighths. This is supposed to be 11 and a quarter. <clears throat> and I need to add a row in here. I need to add number six. So I'm going to click insert. And now you'll notice that it added directly above the last uh, field that I had highlighted. I need to move him down so he's outside the core boundary. Well, that's what these up-down buttons are for. So I'll just click down until the item I have highlighted is outside the core boundary. This is not going to be a structural function in this wall, in this uh, floor assembly. So I'll expand my list and I'll select finish two, number five. I'll show you what this all means a little later. Material. I'm going to highlight my material, but I'm going to click the dot, dot, dot button here so I can bring this up. I want gypsum wallboard. You should just be able to scroll your way around the list and find it. And if you don't, if you can't find it in scrolling, if you uh, click up here in the search bar and type GYP for gypsum, uh, then it will filter out the results and you can highlight it that way. So one way or another, you'll get to gypsum wallboard. And the thickness of this will be five eighths of an inch. Click OK. We're done modifying the type properties. So click OK again, and now I'm, now I'm ready to begin drawing this, uh, all this information. <laughs> so instead of picking walls, which is the easy thing to do, or an, an easy thing to do, I want to make I want to make sure that all these lines that I'm creating actually line up on these uh, grid lines for the building, so I can actually pick lines in my sketch mode. So I'll use this option, and basically anywhere there's a wall that lines up on one of these grids is where I want to snap a line. There's going to be, well, not this one, string, I'll tell you why. I do want this one. I don't want any of these through here, and I do want this one. There we go. And now I will use my trim extend to corner. I'll zoom back just a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing. Basically, I'm going to clean my way around the entirety of the plan. So that I have this shape. So yes, this line is going to go all the way across here. <clears throat> because this, this uh, part of the building plan is going to be open from the first floor to the second floor. What we need to do now is we need to clean this area up because this is for the fireplace and I actually don't want the floor to go through the fireplace. I'm going to have a brick wall going all the way through. And I need to add a, a couple of lines right here for this section. 
So I come back and this time I'm just going to draw some lines. And I'm going to come up and around like that. And draw right across the front of that. Now you can see how I'm snapping once I move. I can actually snap right there on the grid line, and I know I'm on the grid line because that grid line has been highlighted. So the lines that I drew, let me back that up. <clears throat> so the lines that I drew, because that did go by a little quick, I want to go into that with you again. I'm starting up here at the top of the fireplace. I'm coming down the left side, going across the bottom, and going up the top. And then once I've completed that, press escape, and I want to snap onto this grid line, come across. In order to get this next point, I'll actually need to, uh, let's see, again, I'm, I'm overshooting where I need to go and just left click on the, uh, on the grid line, click escape again. Now to get to snap exactly where I actually wanted to, I'm going to hover my, my cursor over this point push the tab button, and it doesn't want to work when you're sketching this way, but it does work if you want to pick a line. <clears throat> so you see how I have the, so as I've changed how I'm generating my lines, if I hold my mouse over the line I actually want to use, you can see how the center line of the wall is highlighted. I don't want the center line, I want the line that's underneath my mouse. So I hover my mouse and click tab on the keyboard just once. And see how it highlighted the string of walls? I don't want the string of walls. I want just that line my mouse is under. So I uh, click tab on the keyboard one more time. And there it is. That green line right there. That's what I want. Left click. And that puts the line perfectly in the place where I want it. Okay. Now let's come back up here and use the trim extend to corner. I'll use this again just to clean everything up. here, get that corner, and that one, and that one. And here we go, there's our floor assembly. Let's make sure, let's see if we got everything working correctly. Finish edit mode, big green checkbox, there we are, perfect, happy. That is exactly what I wanted it to do. All right, that is the floor assembly. <clears throat> In the next video, we're going to talk about the two different roof systems that we're going to be placing on the, on the, uh, on the house here. So we'll see you guys in a minute.